All right, so coming out today, well, I've already been out in the garage a little bit. Been working on drilling the holes for the brackets. Clean those up a little bit, get some paint on them. And while those are waiting to dry, um, probably just tackle some more wiring. So try to get that out of the way. And then once those are dry and everything, I get the intercooler mounted. Uh, probably go before because I have access to the back of it. Um, so I'll probably come out after those are while those are getting painted and start to get the nose on. I don't think I have anything else up in this area that I really need to mess with. So I think the nose can go back on. Um, still need a. I'll probably call Holly too or send him an email or something. Ask him about that wire to the. Well, this is a painless wire. I'll ask them about the their wire hooking up to that. If that's okay or not. Also trying to find a couple bolts. Um, because the battery is relocated. I need to find a stud or something to ground to. So I'm thinking I might take like the... Well, one of these maybe. But just take a bolt, a hex head, and weld it to the frame of course clean the paint off weld it to the frame and use that as a ground so that's kind of what I'm leaning towards I'll see if I have some extra bolts that fit the openings for the cables if not have to find something else or find another smaller bolt so just small stuff like that um, probably run the power wire to the holly run that uh, between that rubber piece or plastic piece and then get the ECU mounted into place plug everything in um, and just give it time so yeah I'll catch you guys back on to start doing some stuff and see what happens and uh, what comes from it but yeah it's just going to be a little all over the place drilling those holes out it took took a little while um, but yeah those are all drilled out like I said I'll leave I'll leave the ugly welds on there but they're pretty solid get those painted and we'll go from there all right so went to go paint those brackets I wanted to do black but none of the nozzles were working so went with that cast coat aluminum again actually like how I sprayed the uh, transmission pan I don't know all the nozzles on the other one are jacked up so did just get off the phone with Polly. Was a little bit of a wait, but they got everything situated, so I know it's gonna be tough to see, but there's a red and white wire you need to hook up to a 12 volt switch source. But then it says do not connect to a dirty source like an ignition coil. And then <laughs> from the painless book, it's like if you switched over to a standalone harness, use this pink wire. Uh, it's obviously in the coil and ignition section, so just talked to them and they said as long as this wire is not hooked to anything like a ignition coil itself um, it will be okay to use for the uh, the 12 volt switch wire so the red and white wire off the Terminator X is going to hook up to that pink wire I think it's uh, 920 so that's going to be the 12 volt sort or switched wire and yeah, we'll hook up to uh, is that the red and white one so yeah I don't think there's a red and white one in here so I believe it's that one so we're good to go um, got that question answered so like I said I think it gave it enough time for the first coat to dry I'm gonna flip them over and paint the other side no Elko Warren says he's the or Warren G body, whatever he's going by nowadays. <laughs> says he's a rattle can king. Um, but he's been doing a lot of spray gun stuff lately. Small stuff like this. I had to do it. I had to do the rattle can, so um yeah. Oh yeah, I was I'm gonna do the other end for the starter wire, so get that terminated and everything. But yeah, just uh just a little bit here, a little bit there trying guys I'm trying I know everybody's like it's close it, it, it's close but um we got a little ways to go but it's, it's, it's close 
But yeah, let me put this down. It's getting hot. Uh, it's 90 degrees in the garage. So yeah, let me let me put this down and start getting to work. All right, give you guys a quick update. Not too sure where I left off, but the bracket should be dry. So I'll get those and drill the holes, or yeah, drill the holes in the bottom of the air box so I get that mounted. Um, I did clean up a little bit of wiring, so put a lot of it in the wire loom. Okay, these battery cable or the starter cables. Put those in the the wire loom. Um, I did call Holly. I said it was okay to run that wire. I think I already mentioned this, um, but that wire will hook up to the other one. So I need to throw that one in a wire loom. Just got done. Threw all this in a wire loom all down here. Need to get a little bit um, larger size so I can put all those in there. Clean that up. All these battery cables are in the wire loom, so that's all good to go. I need to tighten that up a little bit. Uh, the fuse down here, that's all tightened up. I'll probably get some self-tap screws and some tie downs and uh, put these or yeah, put these in tie downs up against the firewall somewhere. I did cut down those N10 bolts; they were a little too long, so the grounds to the cylinder head from the Terminator X, those are on on both sides. So, yeah, pretty much all that is all wire loomed except for this pink wire. I'll get that loomed up and then feed it through here, I believe. Um, but yeah, it's, it's pretty much the short update. I'm gonna go get those brackets. So I'll start drilling holes in the bottom of the air box so I get this mounted up. By the end of the day, the goal is to have the nose back on. It'd be nice if I get the nose and the hood on, but for now, just get the nose on. I don't think I have enough bolts for... Well, I think I have two to get the intercooler mounted on. I think those are M8 bolts, but I don't think I have enough to attach the bottoms to the air box so I might have to pick up some more of those but yeah it's it's getting there just wrapping it up um, yeah that, that's just a quick update so put you guys back down let me get all that mounted up get the radiator put back into place and hopefully next time I cut it on I have the nose on so even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer to no man, I still go Go, go Hope you can still go. 
All right, so it's not mounted mounted, but it's getting close. So I have to get the proper uh, nuts and everything to get everything right. Right now, I'm just using what I had. Had some extra uh, bolts, so I was just holding it into place for now. Like I said, once I get the proper uh, nuts on there, it should be good. And then I still have to get some nuts and bolts. Those. Uh, <laughs> there they go. So. Yeah, so these ones, they'll go on the, well, in between and kind of pop the bumper out a little bit. And so, we'll bring this out just slightly be able to get the finger extension to stay in place but yeah i kind of like the older or the ones that were on there they have these little hooks in the back to keep it in place so uh, i'm gonna put the new hardware on there but i do like those hooks on there so i have to get some nuts and bolts for these get some nuts for these up here find out wherever i've had the spoiler at or the chin spoiler. Um, where's that? Probably looking right at it. Just don't see it. It's it's in that mess somewhere. Uh -huh. But yeah, it's. I think it's gonna look good. Might see if my neighbor can help once it cools down a little bit. Get the hood back on. Um, everything looks like it should line up, especially once. These bolts are moved over just a little bit. This side is looking pretty good. Like I said, I want the bottom pieces out right here. It'll pop it out just slightly. Still need to get new parking lights. I don't like those ones, and they don't fit in the the lights don't fit in the socket. So cheaped out, and I'm gonna have to spend up end up spending even more money for them. Yeah, I think it's gonna look good once everything's straight on it. So. Yeah, it's just off slightly. Yeah, once it's tightened up, it should be good to go. With the lights in there too. Still waiting on the bracket, so. Um, see what my buddy's doing today. If he's done with them or not. But yeah, it's gonna look good. Need to get the emblem too. Um, ah. I think it was 87 SS boy he redid his I think the one up here and the ones on the tail lights so um, I'll try to find the bolt on type for this one and I think the tail light ones are just stickers I believe these ones I believe are just stickers but I want to replace these anyway I don't want them to be like bright, bright red, like uh, the ones on the Camaro. I could black them out, but kind of like the red look a little bit better. Yeah, so, well, I guess these are a little darker, but I want that red to really pop in there. But, man, it's coming together. I still need a put all the nuts on the rear bumper that's still loose so might do that today also while I'm out here but I'm gonna take a little bit of a break because it's a hot one Ooh. yeah so I'll take a little bit of a break might hop on the bike run to the parts store grab the nuts and bolts and then once it cools down a little bit I'll come back out and uh, mess with it some more but it is nice to get this out of the office and back on the car I know that shadow is not helping too much but I'll get a better video for you guys later while I'm at it like I said the intercooler is mocked up for the most part still need to get some more uh, bolts for this to bolt it into place pull this up get that there and then get these ground straps mounted but that might be it for a while like i said it's, it's hot in here so 
That fan's only doing so much. But yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut it off. Just leave the nose just hanging there, and I'll come mess with it later today once it cools down. <laughs>